Hello everybody, welcome back to Stellaris. We are currently looking at the new capital system of the newly liberated United Sander and Planet States. Um, now, we had a partial success in this war. We liberated the north, so to speak, of the Empire, minus this little border gore mess that I feel really bad about. It's going to bother me until the end of my days. Um, but we have found our first true allies in the galaxy. Um, we have established a defensive pact, a commercial pact, and a research agreement with them. Um, so we are well and truly invested in the well-being and success of this empire. I think a little bit later, we're going to finish the job and we're going to liberate the rest of the Sandoran Authority. But for the time being, the Sandoran Authority, uh, at least the southern portion, is going to be subjugated by the Alliance of Hardshell Harbor and there's nothing we can do about that. Um, so next up, we really need to think about what we are going to do next. Now, I think we have done about all there is to do internally, right? Now it's just economy management. We just need to keep building new buildings on our planets, keep uh, keep exploring new technologies um, and whatnot. So we can really push our um, we can really push our focus outwards to the rest of the galaxy. And one thing that I've noticed is that there has been a lot of chaos here and there is just two empires here now in the place of where there was one of two empires that we really don't get along with we have the coalition of panixala prima perhaps our oldest and most classic rivals um they invaded us long long ago and then of course we have this newly conquered commonality of fear mathuros um created out of their territory um so to us it's just an extension of more of the same it's just another hostile government pretending to be different, but they're also just the same population of aliens that have invaded us. So here's what I think we're going to do. We are going to liberate them as well, but we're going to liberate them in a slightly different way. Um, because of the way this game works, um, declaring two liberation wars is going to be a little bit of a headache. And now that I know how they work, um, it's not always easy to win a liberation war. So what I'm going to do with all this extra influence we have is I'm actually going to go to our government tab. I'm going to set our war philosophy to unrestricted wars. And I'm gonna claim a bunch of systems. So the goal here is to claim these systems from these two empires. And then what we're gonna end up doing is we're going to conquer these systems through just a standard conquest war. And then once we've conquered the systems, we're going to create a district and we're going to release that district as a vassal. Now this vassal is going to share our government. It's going to share our ethics. And it's basically just going to be a self-governing, like autonomous region of the Republic that we're liberating. Um, we're going to try, yeah, just a little bit of a different way of liberating the population here. The reason I want to have a little more control than just creating an ally and this time creating like a vassal, like that's more integrated into the Republic is because I want access to this gateway. And um, I am not super experienced with gateways in this game, but I think, at least I'm hoping that, if they are a vassal, we will have access to transport in this gateway, and hopefully we can see if it can get us to extend our influence somewhere else in the galaxy. Now, things for us to be aware of. We go to declare war. We have a truce. We have a truce until 2306. So that gives us about seven years to get ready for this war. Second thing to be aware of. They are allied, I believe, with the Mythfell Order. So, for example, if I go to declare war on the Mythfell Order, they can call in the Coalition of Panix Alla Prima as a defender because they have a defensive pact. So, when we declare war on here, we also need to see to our northern border. So, here's what we're going to do. We have two fleets plus our MSI warship. I think we're going to leave our MSI warship in Sismak. So we're going to take one of our fleets and we're going to move it over to Yamathur. Now, Yamathur is going to become our shipyard in the north. We're going to take our other fleet that has no orders and we're going to move it to Fawe. This is going to be our shipyard here in the east part of the empire. We're going to upgrade our fleets. Then we're going to move to the borders and prepare for um, two front war. Here's one front. Here's the second front. We have two fleets plus our MSI warship, our recovered asset, that I think we're just gonna leave be. Um, okay, that's enough rambling on. Let's get this game unpaused. Um, let's see to all of our planets. Looks like we have extra jobs building on our 
factory world, Ultan. Um, we might as well get just another industrial district. We don't really have much else to be doing on this planet. I guess we could build a Psycor. That's always good to have. Um, Favaria, we have zero available jobs. All right, let's see what this is. Commissary General Tan Batorak, we understand that your empire is home to an individual whose brilliant mind transcends the tragic primitiveness of your species. That is so condescending. While the talents of Zosira Katun are sadly wasted on the Favarian Republic, we Andari always have a use for skilled scientists to work in our archives. As such, we are offering her a unique chance to earn our favor by allowing us to take charge of her. We already have a ship en route to pick her up, so you need to only say yes and everything will be settled. I'm sure you don't want to disappoint us, do you? Yeah, um, this is what I think. It's not up for us to decide. That's her decision. They will be displeased. Well, I'm sorry, Andarian archivists. We don't just willy-nilly send people to their potential deaths or slavery. We are a free country. Um, okay, Favaria, as I was saying, we have some extra jobs potentially on Favaria. I think we could either go for energy districts or it looks like we need more agricultural districts. Um, alien identity identified. A tubular alien entity has appeared in orbit around Droitendir. Uh, I think, yeah, here's where Droitendir is. Oh, look at that. I think this is the enigmatic cache. Yeah, probe entity enigmatic cache. Um, with no warning or explanation, it appears to be moving without engines or thrusters, uh, gliding in complete silence through the void of space, cylinders rotating ominously. Yeah, it is kind of weird. Though it has yet to display any signs of aggression, it refuses to acknowledge our hails. Our military advisors warn that it may pose a considerable threat to the inhabitants below and implore us to engage neutralization protocols. Our scientists, however, plead that we instead learn from this remarkable piece of technology. I'm going to side with our scientists on this. Let's Situation study it. Weird technology? This has potential, potentially um, big implications for our empire. Alright. New Favaria, our tech world has more jobs we can build another research labs and we could probably build another city district and we could probably build some agriculture districts and some energy districts our mining world needs more jobs let's build a couple more mining districts let's remove some blockers our agri world needs some jobs all right we can build a generator district or two we could probably also build Remote harvesting traps. We can build another city district, hopefully. And I think we want to get a Psycor on all of, most of our planets. Looks like we can finish our psionics tree. Um, this is going to give us code breaking plus two and encryption plus two. Telepathic ciphers and code breaking techniques. All right. So this finisher effect for finishing psionics gives us edicts upkeep minus 10% and shroud delve cooldown minus 20%. All right, we are currently looking into delving into the shroud, I believe. We'll check on that in just a second. We need to pick a new Ascension perk. Now there are some great new Ascension perks that have unlocked, such as Defender of the Galaxy, Galactic Force Projection, and whatnot. Eternal Vigilance, Galactic Contender. And all of these are great, for sure. Um, but for the time being, I want to see if we can really unlock the full potential of our fleets. So we're going to take Archaeo Engineers for an extra 33% Archaeo Tech weapon damage, um, minus 10% minor artifact ship cost. Um, this is going to be great. Unlocks additional effects for ancient ship components. Yes. All right. Fantastic. Level core is a tech world. Well, looks like we're not doing much in the way of tech right now. So let's go ahead and let's build a, another couple city districts so we can get some more research labs in. Our forge world... Hmm, not much is going on here. We can build a side core. Droid Tandir is our factory world. We only have one available job here. Let's build another industrial district. And let's build a side core. And finally, we have our relic world. I think we're going to have this focus on research, yes. But... I think we're also going to have it as a 
Not a refinery world. Miner and strategic resource gatherer output plus 25% because we have two max crystal mines, two extraction wells, two ma uh, moat harvesting traps. So we're going to basically have extraction of natural resources and we're going to have research. Um, we're going to do both on this planet. And since we have a lot of other planets dedicated to research, I'm going to des designate this as a mining world. So it's going to be a little bit of mining and a little bit of research. We have plenty of jobs, but we really need housing. So we're going to build a couple of city districts here. And we're going to unpause the game. All right. So 2306. Um, we should also probably look and see when the debt collectors are going to arrive because we don't want to be caught unprepared again. Um, 2312. Okay, so six years after we can declare this war, the debt Council collectors can available. arrive. Um, research station output plus 10%. Fantastic. What do we want to get next? We could upgrade our research complexes. That's probably going to be pretty good. We could upgrade our energy nexus. We can get cloaking, eh. Detection array, eh. Research alternatives, eh. Plasma thrower, eh. I say we get research complexes. All right. Special project complete. The enigmatic cache. Despite extensive research, the enigmatic cache and its origin are still shrouded in mystery. Though it is definitely not organic in nature, it is not entirely machine either. It appears to be preoccupied mainly with the gathering, storing, and encoding of data. Its surface is covered in hundreds of thousands of minuscule scratches and dents in which we have discovered traces of a compound that is alien to our galaxy. Wow. It's perhaps sent from outside the galaxy. Incredible. Looks like we are in the process of upgrading our star fortresses as well. Um, let's make sure we have all of our stations set to upgrade. All right. I'd like to upgrade our starbase capacity as well when we get the chance. Um, let's see, we have a commander here. This is commanding our army. So let's give this person the general perk. This is going to give um, army damage plus 5%. Yes. We can give this an upgrade order. All right, attention Valdari, if you have need of others to fight your battles for, you know that the Sandrithan mercenary fleets are now available for hire. Yes, you heard correctly. If you can meet their prices, the best mercenaries in the galaxy are now willing to fight for you. Good to know, good to know. Um, our governor leveled up, we can probably give them extra pop growth speed and food from jobs. Yes, governing Favaria. Um, let's go ahead and let's give this fleet the upgrade order as well. Yes. We're going to make this into a shipyard, but uh, we have 560 days until it's finished with its upgrade queue. So it's not going to be a shipyard for a little time being. So we're going to move it down to Fawai, upgrade them, and then move them back. All right. Once we get advanced afterburners, this ships is going to be huge. Upgraded. We can upgrade all of our ships with advanced afterburners. Um, is going to hugely improve our speed and speed is really important in, in battles now um we can probably bump up to fast speed um no need to wait around unnecessarily slow the game kind of slows down at this point um so this is the time when it's okay to use fast or very fast speed um to kind of move things forward all right fantastic so if I go to fleet management, looks like our command limit is still at 70, so we're probably fine Block here. Non-aggression pact broken between the Molinarch Centralized Commonalities and the Leotian Compact. Alright. Construction complete. Interesting. Alright. All of our star bases are finishing their upgrade queue. Um, we have two gun batteries, we have two hangar bays. I think we get an additional gun battery, and I think we get a torpedo battery. I don't think we need two torpedo batteries, but I kind of want to have a well-rounded defense here. Um, and then additionally, I think we're going to get a communications jammer here. This is going to reduce enemy ship sublight speed and combat disengagement chance 
that's going to be great for us. Um, this is still upgrading, this is still upgrading this one. Okay, we can get another gun battery and we can get a torpedo battery. And we can get target uplink, communication jammer. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Commercial pact from the Alliance of Hardshell Harbor? No way. We are done being friends with you, Alliance of Hardshell Harbor. We are improving our relations. Let's not improve our relations. We are done being friends with you. We wanted to liberate this population and you decided that you're going to get involved and subjugate them instead. Torpedo battery. And let's get target uplink. Let's get communication shammer. Let's get a disruption field generator here. Research Fantastic. Complete. Construction complete. Waltem will do the same. Construction complete. Gun battery, torpedo battery, we'll get communications jammer, we can unlock a new physics research. We can get UV lasers, we can get plasma throwers, we can get reactor boosters, we can get shields. Auxiliary fire control, might as well just get auxiliary fire control, might be useful. For certain ships that don't really need the speed. Blocker cleared. Once we unlock battleships, I might start differentiating my fleets. Instead of having well-rounded fleets, I might have like complete. a corvette fleet that can move around really quick. Complete. And then I might have like some slower fleets. Construction and complete. we'll kind of change the structure of how our whole fleet is organized. Um, let's get this transport army fleet up here. Ready to invade. Okay. Hi, attention to our warriors who grow bored and cause much trouble, much fighting with each other, many dead, but we have a solution. We send our craziest warriors to fight for Dwamax in exchange for credits. If you want mercenaries in the galaxy, hurry now before it's too late. All right, famine. The settlements on Zatar 2 have been experiencing agricultural difficulties. Recent crop failures lead to conflicts over food. There is a critical moment in the development of a young society. Now, if I recall correctly, they nuked themselves back into the Stone Age, right? Yeah, they did. Um, whether or not they choose to come together in their time of need or turn against each other, the decisions now will have a strong bearing on who they ultimately become. Undoubtedly, no matter which course is taken, they are entering a period of extreme hardship. Again, just like with their nuclear war, we have decided we are not going to interfere in their natural cause of their development. Yes, we are showing some distraint. All right. Our Lord High Admiral can get another trait. We can either give Scout, which gives sub light speed plus 5%. Time spent missing in action minus 10%, or we can give Fleet Command Limit plus 35. Um, fleet command limit's actually pretty good, but I don't think we're going to use that right now. Let's actually get scout. Okay, um, so we need one of these fleets to move into Unimar. And we need the other fleet to defend against the Mythfell Order. Looks like there are some new resolutions we can vote on. Military Readiness Act? No. Collective Waste Management? No. Form the Galactic Council? No. Leverage privateering? No. Basically, we don't want any galactic regulation. Repeal? Yes. We want to repeal all this stuff. We don't recognize the authority of this council. We're participating in it because everyone else is. It would be silly not to participate in it, but we'd rather not have all these regulations imposed upon us unfairly. Complete. Looks like we reached our limit on consumer goods. So let's sell a whole bunch of this and let's use all of this extra to buy in, say, some alloys. Special right. project complete. The seance. After days of being locked in a hypnotic trance, our sidekicks in the conclave of telepaths have finally managed to open a brief gateway into the shroud. So exciting. Okay, let's see what this is. Now that we have established an initial psionic link, we will be able to access the shroud through contacts menu in the future. 
To make any kind of meaningful forays into this realm and meet the beings who dwell there, we will likely have to make use of special psionic emitters to extend our psychic reach. This will consume a tremendous amount of energy. Oh, we are so ready for it. The Shroud. It is unbelievably strange and unsettling, but also immediately familiar. Anyone with psionic powers will have seen this place in their dreams, although they likely did not know it at the time. We linger now at the precipice of this realm, not far from the empty void of the in-between that serves as the boundary between here and normal space, or what we would call the real world. To venture deeper into the shroud will require great effort on the part of our telepaths, as well as a large amount of energy. We must not dally, even now we are being watched. Let's do it. Let's reach into the shroud and see what happens. Through the looking glass. What we have not yet actually pierced the veil, we can feel it getting thinner and thinner under the pressure of our combined minds. Yet on the other side, our efforts to enter the shroud have not gone unnoticed. Something watches us. Oh, that is, that is eerie. Its presence radiates eldritch power and unfathomable purpose. It seems, it seeps through the cracks of our psyche. It barely notices us. It watches us like it would a drop of condensation on a porthole. It might let us in if only we could reach its unscrutable mind. Okay, we have to try and commune with this thing, right? That's what we got into Psionics 4. Situation log updated. Getting in over our heads and making dangerous decisions that we will most likely come to regret. Shipyard. Shipyard. We want to turn this into a shipyard, not an anchorage. Um, we can also build a hyper hydroponics bay here. Um, and we can probably build resource... Oh, crew quarters would be great. Uh, Fevnor. Let's go ahead and let's build another hangar bay. And let's build a torpedo battery. And we can build... Hmm, probably... Yeah, let's build a disruption field generator. Okay. Star Fortress. After this, we're going to build a couple of anchorages here. We might as well build Hydroponics Bay 2 and maybe Resource Silos. Okay. Doing good. We're doing good. We could use some more shipyards here. In addition, we could probably use a Hydroponics Bay, Research Silos. Research complete. Instead of the resource silos, let's actually build a transit hub. This is going to let our pops from f this system uh, relocate to other worlds easily. All right, we can remove some more blockers, and next we can either get hyper entertainment forms, we can continue our quest to remove blockers on our planets, we can get food processing facilities. I actually think food processing facilities is going to be good for us. All right, we can unlock a new tradition tree, so we could either. Let's see what our options are. This would give us more starbase capacity and it would upgrade our like defensive capabilities. But right now we're more on the offensive than the defensive. I would like the increased starbase capacity, but I don't know if it's worth taking a whole tradition tree just for extra two capacity. Um, we could increase the power of our military. We could get into subterfuge. Not really interested in subterfuge all that much. Um, we could look into our government, statecraft, Let's see what this does. Council agenda speed, counselor skill, more agendas. Okay, this is all about council agenda, really. And I guess it gives us some extra edicts fun. That wouldn't be too bad. It's not too exciting either. Politics, we're not really ever, we have never been really interested in politics. I think we're either going to go with harmony, which is going to kind of just increase the productivity and well-being of our st instability on our planets or like aptitude adaptability isn't bad we don't need the habitability but like building slots i guess the only good thing here is building and district strategic resource upkeep reduced by 15 percent we might get that later Here's what I think we do. I think we go for harmony right now. Council agenda available. This is gonna give us pop ups keep plus minus ten percent right away, right off the bat. Which is great. Alright. Raganoth, let's build a bunch of shipyards. Research complete. Let's build crew carters. Let's build a hydroponics complete. bay. 
And let's build research silos. Walton, we are fully upgraded and ready to go. All right, new physics research. We can get advanced research complexes, or we could just get a flat bonus to energy output, or we can get experimental subspace navigation. All of these are pretty good. Let's get the option to upgrade our research complexes. All right, fantastic. 2304, we are fast approaching our date where we can declare this war. Whether or not we want to do it right away or if we want to wait some time, um, we'll have to see. Construction I think our complete. fleets are pretty strong. Research complete. Research complete. Okay, we unlocked food processing uh, facilities. We can get more naval capacity. I'm really tempted to just go with more naval capacity. Or we could continue removing blockers, building slots. Or we can get some of this Archaeotech finally. I'm tempted to, but this is so expensive. Let's put off getting the Archaeotech. Let's get, for now, more naval capacity. We want to up this. We are kind of way over and that's going to start taking a huge hit. Giving us a huge hit to our energy produced. All right. How's the population on this pre-FTL world doing? Nascent Collective. The proto hot the protohive we have been observing on Zatar 2. Hey, look! <laughs> Perfect timing. We literally just asked about them. Alright, they nuked themselves into oblivion and they brought themselves back to the Stone Age. Anyways, the protohive that we've been observing has taken a significant step in its evolution. Our, over most of the planet, small groups of individuals have started to organize into small scale hives, but while not fully autonomous, these drones were so far lacking the cohesion and coordination of a fully realized collective. This has changed in the northern reaches of the planet, where an individual appears to be the nexus for a singularity that is subjugating nearby drones. This drone prime is currently traveling the planet, sending subjugated drones to gather in a settlement of massive proportions, given the low technological level of the world. There, drones seem to be focused on building houses, silos, and expanding their food production as much as possible to accommodate the newcomers. Gone is the autonomy for them, but now there is a collective. All right. We could either try to retrieve this prime and study it, or we can just sit back and, and watch. Let's just sit back and watch. Observe. We're not going to get in, involved. Construction complete. All right. One more year. One more year, and we'll be able to declare this war. So what I think we're going to do, is I think we're going to... I think we're going to sweep around here. And then I think we're going to like bombard Panaxala and Torpia so that we can make our um, transport fleet a little easier to... Um, Construction complete. A little easier to invade the planets. I wonder how powerful the Mythfell Order is. We can hire mercenaries for them. I don't think we need to though. Construction complete. Can we declare the Mythfell Order our rival and have them raid the Mythfell Council Order again. Ready. Narians display psionic potential. Latent psionic powers have begun to manifest in certain individuals belonging to the Nar species, allowing for leaked reports from authoritarian from authorities in the Naran Fellowship. This must be fairly recent development since we have no record of Narians ever displaying psionic abilities on file. According to the leaked reports, these powers are so far limited to a very small minority of the Nar species as a whole. Scientists in the Naran Fellowship have offered no explanations. Welcome to the club. Welcome to the club. All right, we can take monthly unity plus 40% and we can probably go for inner stability. 
Stability plus five when it launches. Stability plus 20, that's great. Um, our scientist, not on the council, so we don't need any council perks. Well, wow. Well, all of these are counselor perks, so we might as we might as well just lean into biology. Who knows? Maybe one day she will be on the council. Research complete. Um, I think we should build a couple more armies. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's a good amount. Um, okay. We can unlock a new technology. We can either get better factories. We can get advanced strike craft. That is very tempting. Or we can get planetary build speed. Boo. Not that good. Defense platform hold points. Eh. Not that good. Crystal infused plating would be nice. Middle some miners would be nice. But I can't pass this up. Advanced strike craft. All of our space stations that have those strike craft buildings in them are now going to be more effective once we... 94 months from now. Which is admittedly a long time. Hey, it's 2306. Can we declare our work? No, we need to wait till May 15th. Okay. All right. And May 15th is now approaching. I think we're going to end this episode by beginning our war. Okay, fantastic. Um, let's do it. Where's the declare war option? Declare war. Conquer. This is going to bring in their defenders. Wait, who are we declaring war against? The commonality of fear of Matharos. I mean, yes, we are going to declare war against them too, but let's first declare war on the coalition. Once we're doing fairly well in this war, once we've kind of gotten this down, then we can declare war on them and kind of push further out. Okay. Can we invite any attackers? Molinarch centralized commonality. I don't think we need any attackers coming in to help us with our war against them. Okay. Let's we declare war. war. Okay, it looks like the Mythfell Order has joined the war this time. Okay, let's move into Panic Sala. Excuse me, I just want to get out of this menu. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, it looks like the Sander and Authority has joined in the war too. That's alright, the Sander and Authority down there can't really hurt us at all. Um, so we can either get Crime minus 10, Governing Ethics Attraction bonus, Empire Size from Pops, Leader Lifespan. Let's get Leader Lifespan plus 10 years, that's fantastic. Our leaders are going to live longer, fleet detected. and they're going to prosper. Alright, Mythfell Order is sending like a little scouting fleet. Under attack. It's sending a scouting fleet into the system. Um, and our fleets are currently just sitting here doing nothing about it. Let's attack them. Hostile fleet engaged. Hostile fleet detected. Okay, let's move back to the space station. Well, it looks like we're going to want to destroy this fleet first. I almost didn't, I almost missed them. Looks like we can activate our relic and we can um, terraform our last world. All right, fantastic. We can upgrade the planetary administration on this build, on this planet, on this planet, and on this planet. All right. Let's watch a battle. 
Misfell order doesn't stand a chance. Look at all our missiles doing their good work. I don't think we're going to take a single casualty in this battle. Alright, looks like we've taken Panaxala, so let's move around here. So let's, let's just move here. I think they have a planetary FTL inhibitor there. We can take it back up to normal speed. I think for the remainder of the war we're going to remain on normal speed and not fast the speed. Board under attack. Giving us better time to react. Construction okay. complete. Make sure we're in orbit here. Space ally entered the war. The United Mythfell Concordat has declared war on our ally, Sandoran United Planet States. Consequently, we are now at war with the United Mythfell Concordat. What the, on earth is the United Mythfell Concordat? What? Why are they called the Mythfell? Are they somehow related to the Mythfell order? I mean, it's the same species. It looks like civil war. Are, are they going to be able to handle the civil war? I sure hope so. I can't help them right now. I'm spread thin. I could potentially push into Mythfell territory and take Federation's End and their Black Hole Station. Hostile station engaged. But I don't know if that's going to be worth the casualties Spaceport under attack. that we lose. Search complete. I think we're better sitting at like a nice defensive position in the Sysmoc system because we don't know if these have all the same defenses that we have in our Sysmoc system set up. Um, okay, we could get an upgraded version of the Atakvin Monument. Only for 6,000 bucks. It's pretty good. All those Archaeo technologies are really expensive and we are going to get to them, I promise, but for the time being, I don't really want to spend like a hundred months researching every single one of them. Hostile fleet engaged. Promising officer Captain Gare Chikana, the commanding officer of the ISS Yajargam, served with distinction during a recent engagement that took place in the Toropia system. The Admiralty on Favaria. The Admiralty on Favari, recognizing the qualities of a promising flag officer, have decided to promote the captain to the rank of full commander. Okay, looks like we have a new commander randomly in the leader pool. Unnecessary, but okay. Okay, so let's move here, let's move here, and let's get our army ready to invade Panaxala Prima. Which, by the way, what is their defense garrison? 417. Yeah, we're going to want to whittle that down a little bit. before we occupy it. Hostile station engaged. All right. Looks like we can enter the shroud. Let's reach into the shroud. We found a tiny space within the shroud that has a concentration of psionic energy that is of a magnitude we have never before seen. Any psychic that managed to successfully tap into this pocket of raw energy would become immensely powerful, but there's only enough for a single individual and the risks are involved. Uh, there are risks involved. The only few individuals in the Fivarian Republic that possess psionic strength needed to tap into the energy pocket with any hope of survival, who should it be? Our president? Our scientist, our commander, 
or a master crafter. Low probability, medium, medium, medium. Let's have our president do it. Anyone's gonna be all powerful, it should be our president. All right, the entire shot seems to shudder as an immense psionic energies contained within the pocket are transferred to town Batarak. Unfortunately, his mind was unable to cope with the stress. Perhaps no living thing was meant to be in possession of such power. All right, he passed away in a large explosion of psionic energy that killed all who were nearby. Yikes. Who's gonna win this next election? Looks like one of our scientists. And this scientist, Kalbathan, Kalbathan is currently governing New Favaria, so we're gonna wanna hire on a new scientist to govern New Favaria. Spaceport under attack. Dwarmok Bashers. They hired mercenaries. Wow. That's low. So we want to move this fleet back. And help deal with these mercenaries. But of course, we're stuck in this own engagement in Sebastic. Alright. To Penexala we go. 14,000? We can take them on. We're going to have heavy casualties, but... Oh well. I think it might be worth putting this recovered asset into Favari Fevnor for the time being, available. because we have debt collectors coming. Once we dealt with the debt collectors, we'll move them over here. I think Spaceport there's lost. not much happening on this front. We don't really need to have more than one fleet there. Okay, they're set to evasive. Evading hostile fleet. So hopefully they'll run away. Please don't destroy my military, my transport fleet. Oh, this is going to be brutal. Hostile fleet engaged. Can I retreat? No, I'm not going to get a chance to. My entire millet, my entire army, come on. Hostile fleet engaged. Okay, leave my army alone. Oh my gosh, this is pure chaos. Spaceport under attack. Research complete. Our research complete. We unlock the heritage site. We can terraform. Haha, <laughs> we don't need to do that. We can get more tile blockers unlocked. Or we can finally start working on telepathy. What does this actually do for us? This just gives us psionic armies? Not really necessary right now. I think we finally start working towards this Archaea tech. Like, let's get ancient macro batteries. That'll be good for us. All right. I think we're going to win this engagement, but I think it's going to cost us. And our armies just went MIA. All right. Bull life seating complete on Corim. And I think this is probably going to be a good place to end our episode. Um, we've accomplished a lot. It's been a little bit of a longer one, but I really wanted to get started on the war. And I think we've had a good start. Um, we've taken some losses. We're going to have to recuperate them, but I don't think this is going to lose us the war. It's just going to, it's a minor setback. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you all next time as we... Uh, conquer territory from the coalition and eventually the commonality of fear, Mathrios as well.